Oh dear. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Hello. Hiya. Hi. Greetings. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ID Loam Show, episode 91. 91. In today's 91. show, we have squonking news, <laughs> a lot of advocacy. Battery <laughs> 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 Too much, if anything. Yeah, too much advocacy. Uh, we have what's in Craig's drawers. Do we have mod showcase, Rick? We have one mod showcase. One. And we have one mod showcase. Long anticipated return of Troll of the Week. Oh, oh shit! Oh, brilliant. As well as uh, the latest and greatest news from the e-cigarette industry. <laughs> 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 John, how's your week been? Uh, have you ever thrown an egg at something? <laughs> Tell us where and when. And what are you vaping on? And what are you drinking? Uh, what do you have dinner? Oh, that's good, 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 good. Um, I'll do that one first. I had a, I, I had burgers for dinner with brioche buns. Oh, gosh. I, uh, I have a, a little chopped up some gherkin, chuck that bad boy in, a bit of tomato. That was good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just queuing it up. Uh, fair enough. Um, how's my week been? My week's been good, really busy, kind of, um, we're preparing just to have Nick for Vape Fest, so it's like never ending kind of stuff-ish, you know, just trying to stockpile stuff and things flying in from America and Manchester and uh, Sunderland and everything else. Yeah. Trying to get it all together. <coughs> um, egg thing. Have I ever thrown an egg? <coughs> I don't think I have. Well, <laughs> it's very unlikely to ramble on about bollocks, but... <laughs> Ramble on. Ramble. I'm, I'm, I'm going to count this as as throwing an egg, which was I remember doing the egg and spoon race at primary school, and um, but it wasn't. It was an egg shaped stone. I think we didn't, they didn't actually use eggs. Didn't use time. eggs. <laughs> so it's a stone race. No. Well, I think it was a mar well, I think it was like an unpolished piece of marble. Is what I think why would why not use an egg? The uh, the old marble and spoon race <laughs> as all <laughs> the time. What did they think they were going to do? Was they, did they think that oh, we better replace the eggs because the kids might hurt themselves with them? So we'll replace yeah, it. With it, wasn't, big it, wasn't like, it wasn't like like that. I wonder. I wonder if there was a sort of it was a waste of food, and I don't know. Did we send the eggs to Ethiopia? We kept the marble ones. Oh, was it in that? Was it in our time of starving Africa kids? <laughs> Ethiopia stuff. Yeah, um, I don't know why I found that funny. <laughs> well, yeah, no, there was a lot. there was a time when that was on the on the Everything. telly all the time. That, that was, was really what, what was about that time. It would have been about nineteen eighty seven, something like that. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, it was about that time when like kids were asked to stick like the old bits of like chicken nuggets in an envelope and address it to somebody. <laughs> So, I they do were pretty young over there then, in the old old, old nice. 87. Oh, the yeah, back home, home with it was all sorted, all that. <laughs> oh. I think it was fine. <laughs> it's fine. I remember going to school with a packed lunch and coming home with it and not and having not ate the sandwiches. And my I wouldn't eat a, I wouldn't eat a sandwich with a stone in it. No, it wasn't a stone. It'd be like um, something terrible. Uh, corned beef, I won't eat that. Uh, oh. Or something horrible. And my um, stepmom would say, there are starving children in Africa. And I said, we'll send it to them then. <laughs> I said, oh, well, that was like it, the spell I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble wrap it, chuck it in the boat. Fucking idiot. Uh, right, that went from eggs to sandwiches. Ooh, magic. <laughs> what am I vaping on? A, 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 I can't not have it on the show. <laughs> so... Uh, first thing is the billet box with an exocet with raspberry mint. 
Oh, I'm seriously thinking about getting a billet box. It's good. An authentic, an authentic one. Especially as it's <laughs> oh, it's a good bike. It's a good bike fest model, good festival one. And they're hard as nails. I've dropped mine, but mm. they're, they're I've got an artless line around, Craig. <laughs> Fair dues. <laughs> Next up is my first Dacus flask. You see what I'm doing with it. Dacus flask is oh, blue, not black. Um, what's in that? Oh, it's got. It's got that in it. John's terrible, right? It? Tropical cactus. I could have spent a bit more money on the labels of that juice. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical cactus. Cuts. It's so new. We haven't even made the labels yet. Um, that'll be for that's the one that's for sale next week at Bake Test the launch next week with Mojito. Um, anyway, I've got that in the Serpent Alto on top of the Dacus flask. Um, next up, I have the what's it called? I keep getting this wrong. The next era, era, next era. On uh, on top of the mod that I can't remember the name of, but it's a mix gonker. Uh, it's and, ankle, ankle, ankle stuff, ankle culter. Um, but I've done something. This is just to please. Um, this is just to really to please Gus. I hope he's watching. If you can see that on the shitty thing. Oh wow! It, Gus won't be pleased because that is that is not a ten mil atomizer. It's not only that, it's uh, cotton in a journey. Well, it's not. Cotton in a journey. In, inside, it is actually an 11 mil atomizer. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's the space in top, on the top. Oh, well. Um, <clears throat> and in that, I've got Envy <clears throat> by DB Liquids. Oh, talking about DB Liquids. Scott T. Barker is going to be posting up a, um, a code. Uh, only... It's exclusive to the Ideal Home Show Facebook page, if you remember. And um, Scott's going to put up, uh, Scott from DB Liquids is going to put up a code later which gives you 35% off when you order direct from DB Liquids. Win. That's a uh, winner. 5% off. Not bad. Not only a 5% bollocks. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, last but by no means least, my other Dacus flask. Oh, you weren't going to show it. You said you weren't going to show could. that one. Oh, oh John. John. With a vapor jack nano on top. And it's got, the, it's got um, oh. raspberry mint. <laughs> what have I missed here? Why have you got two Dacus flasks? I haven't. I just put You just unscrewed it on just for the crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have John didn't it give you another one the other week. <laughs> no. He did. I'm just unscrewed it. Under the... I'm sure you did that. another one that he gave you. Look, I just took the other atomizer off and put it that, in. That's not a second flask. Yeah. Wow, it looked different. You fell that's for not it. No, no. Right. Uh, didn't he come and see you and give you, uh, at least you had in your hand a different flask? Uh, I had a squonker in yeah, my hand. That's the not that one. The one I had the other day was a. Yeah. Yeah, the the first one he showed me was a skonker, and the second one. Was, think, Are you that. enjoying squonking, um, John? Um, I know it's not your first ever, but no. Well, yes, I know. Right, this, um, like Stardis or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh Next wow, era. Greg! If you're watching, Next era. I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is, but it's like a mental block for me. I can't remember the name of it. Right. <clears throat> the next era is for me. It's the best squonker atomizer I've ever used because of the mesh thing. I really like the tank thing. I've had no problems with it at all. I know a lot of people. A few people I've seen have said they don't like it when in squonk mode, but I really do. It, it, it goes quickly, but you can just. Give it a squeeze and it fills up again. It's not a problem. Um, I like it in cotton and I like it with the um, mesh, you know, the, with the normal uh, stainless steel wick. My issue is, I don't, I don't do mechs. I just can't be arsed with it. Yeah. 
I don't like the idea of having a decent vape that slowly depletes. And I can feel it. <clears throat> so if you can feel it going quickly, then you need to build a bit lower. No, it's like three point. Um, this one, this is point four nine now. In there. But I think it's, I think it's more noticeable at higher ohms. Yeah, I, I think it is too. It dropped when I had it at point seven. It was uh, uh, when the battery's down to three point eight. It's rubbish. Um, That's because it's so high. Yeah, but I just I, well, well, the point is, I don't have to do that because if it was a if it had a board in it, I could just do what the fuck I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it up, turn it down, turn the, turn the battery out, turn it over. You don't have that have that kind of oh, good vape, good vape, ah, bollocks. No, but if you build it. higher, if you build like I do, quite low. It's a bit too aggressive to start with, so you're taking shorter hits to get the same. And as it's how slow, low would you, you just go a tiny would... bit longer, and it's just the same until. How low would you build on a single? Point one five highest. I think what you did, what there is, is I don't think it's what you're vaping at. It's what you build the coil to, because you're building. If you build a coil to a four volt vape, then it's gonna, you'll feel it. If you build a coil to a three point seven, it'll be a hot for a little bit. But it'll hit yeah. that. It, it'll you just sit go in that quicker. Curve. You just have a, a shorter pull on and full beam. To be honest, then I probably haven't got wire yeah. thick enough to do that with. And I hate yeah. yeah, I haven't got. This is like point. This is. That's why we use N I eighty, John, because it, it's half about half the resistance of stainless, and so you, you can you can do a normal build and it'll be low. So you got point four in there, have you, John? Yeah. 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 I think that's it. It's just. Uh, well, I just, if I was, yeah, but all the problems are solved, though, if you just say, it's got a board in it, that's the yeah. end, you just go, oh. yeah, 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 it yeah. just makes it bigger, that's all. Yeah, it's much more of a problem for you at higher ohms, definitely, yeah, because me, me and Rick, can we, yeah. we can just go from 0.25 to 0.15, yeah, because, yeah. With, no. regu with regulated, no. you build. If you're unregulated, you build into the voltage. If you're regulated, then you build into whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't go wrong with with regulated, can you? You just turn it up or down. Yeah. And what are you drinking as well, John? Oh, uh, I'm uh, back on the beer. I've got a ghost ship tonight. Well, like, no. I just want to say so. Last week it was really sweet. Um, I didn't drink on the show, and I and I said why I wasn't drinking on the show, and uh, that actually caused more problems than than me not saying. I thought I better not drink because if I just just don't drink, people are going to wonder what's going on. So I thought oh, I'll be honest and bless our viewers. <laughs> people were messaging me thinking I've got a real proper illness and making sure that I was I was really telling the truth and I was okay. So I'm fine, and it, it was yeah. But he just put the brave face on it. No. The age has gone. The age has gone. Gone, mate. Gone. That's if you amazing. just don't drink for one day, it goes. That one day of methadone helped you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it's more um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was just literally it was a blood test on Friday morning. Went there before work. Uh, got it done. That was it. Uh, but I, <laughs> I, next time I'll just lie and say it's the age. Um, <clears throat> Richard. Hello. How's your week been? What did you have for lunch? Oh, don't. So by the way, people don't moan that we said the AIDS. Jesus. Um, well, how's your week been? What did you have for lunch? What are you vaping on? And what's your what's your what's, what's what what would be your omelette topping of choice? I'm going to stick to the egg theme. Hmm. <laughs> omelette of choice would be uh, onion and ham. Cooked onion or what? It's sprinkled in raw. Oh, it's got while it's cooking. But no, it, do you pre go in first. Soften? Onion goes in for good. I'll not give it, sweat it down a bit. Yeah, hammer. No, maybe some, like some spring onions are quite nice in an omelette of that type, isn't it? Don't have any of them lying around. <laughs> no, no cheese. Or scallion, as they call it over over the Atlantic. What would happen with the cheese is I wouldn't be that bothered, but then Sarah would start grating some, and mm. so I'd just sprinkle a bit on it and. Yeah, a bit, a bit of Sarah's cheese. She's a, she's a cheese pusher. Yeah, my wife's like that. Uh, so that's omelette. Yeah, that's a bit of a cul-de-sac. There's yeah. not much I can tell you about that. <laughs> <Good chat. laughs> 
oh my god they mentioned aids in a comedic manner they will say cunt or something next <laughs> oh we had aids and ethiopia yeah. we're in for it this uh, week this dist africa earlier on as well that's a bit of a yeah. part. <laughs> laughed at their plight i don't think we've got many viewers there well, look it's it's not our strongest demographic africa <laughs> <laughs> If we talked about it, we've had meetings about it. To be fair, YouTube running on one of those low power PCs is never going to cut it. It's no, just not it's a, just yeah, not, can't a wind up chat. router. That's the problem. <laughs> Barely half the <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> going to hell. Uh, yeah. uh, can I say, you might not have heard of this drink. It's actually quite good. Um, the company that makes it's called Brewdog. Oh, which one did you get? Oh, I heard of them. oh, what a coincidence! Brewdog, yeah. just so it just so happens that that is a real coincidence. And he managed to find some of that for me tonight. Oh, oh look at that! Both that supporting a, a little tiny brewery. It's going. It's it's getting it's getting easier to get. It's more accessible now. Do you realise Punk IPA? It's called. You, oh, you realise you are you are brew bros. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, lunch. What I had for lunch today. Uh, Thai Thursday. Green uh, green Thai curry. Oh. With rice? Oh, yes. There was too much rice, if anything. Oh. Oh. You can have too it much kills rice. It if you have too much rice. You've got to have the right ratio of rice to gravy, haven't you? Yeah, there's arsenic in rice. <laughs> <laughs> there's high levels of arsenic in rice, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. Is it? Oh, right. isn't that just okay. if it's reheated? It's bad to reheat rice, isn't it? Uh, I don't. I, 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 there's definitely arsenic in rice. No further details. How are you know. alive? Well, I don't think it's as bad for you as they made out in the You're uh, immune in to the seventeen hundreds. You're immune to it now. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Pasta's the best. Pasta's a carbohydrate when it's hot. If you eat it straight out of the pan, when it when right. it cools down, it's a fibre, and if you heat it back up again, it's still a fibre. Did you realise? Did really? Somebody could somebody could you could capture that little bit where you said pasta is the best and ruin you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Don't nobody clip that. It's. <laughs> I'm on shaky ground anyway with Uncle Ben's because. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say with Uncle uh, Ben. I was like, <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be grim at Christmas round Richards this year when Uncle Ben turns up. What do you say about pasta? With the, the, the royalties mm -hmm. are... It's really tricky. It's really tricky with the affiliate links on Uncle Ben's. Because well, I can buy it from the supermarket. He never got over the whole Spider-Man thing, did really. <laughs> Right. Uh, shall I tell you what I'm vaping on? Go on then. Yes. Go on then. Right. On my SVBF... Yeah. Oh, uh, from my new my new squonker from Nigel uh, sent it me ahead of fest. I'm not sure why, just out of pure love, I think. I think he um, loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the people think. It's, it's also it means I I'm now indebted to and I now owe him actual money. That's not a good place to be in debt weird. to Nigel. Moxon. Weird, isn't it? It's not right because I'm oh, just waiting to PayPal it. He doesn't like that. I'm I'm just gonna put a, I put a, a marker in here, which is watch this again after vape fest. <laughs> you realise now, Richard, you're you're his bitch. I'm just gonna literally throw the money at him and leg it. <laughs> um, right. So on, so on top of that, I've got the D Pro from Coil Art. Uh, it's one of these Nada likes that we talked about. Oh, last week. Um, if I show you inside, uh, the air comes through the post here. Ah. Uh -huh. Single coil. I've just reviewed this actually. Yeah, I got a lot of um, displeasure for saying that I think it's a single coil RDA. Uh, co coil in there, you put your wick on each side, which again helps to sort of close it all up. Um, really nice, actually. Really enjoying it. Yeah. In true coil art style, it's not particularly unique. It's It's borrowing from several things. It's very wasp. Esque and, and gorge, it's a lot like the gorge, yeah. Um, but I, I really like it actually, I think it's really, really nice. And I'm absolutely loving the, the squonker, absolutely loving it. It's 
Ah, you, need to just... get a, you need to get a vinyl on that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just know because it's the it's like a, the power coat. Yeah, that'd, that'd go lovely. That you reckon? Mm. Yeah, is that powder coat then, and not white. just a natural? Is that powder coated then? It's it looks like black. it's just a natural black. No, it's not. It's, it's like rough. It's got the rough. Oh. Um. Yeah. I'll wait till I own it before I deface it. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, the 3D one's lovely and all that stuff, but I prefer a metal one, I think, or a wood one. I don't know. The 3D one... That's got a MOS, uh, it's worth saying, that's got a MOSFET in it, hasn't it? It's got the SwitchFET board with a low-voltage cut-off right. on it. Oh. Did you know I, that? No. I didn't know it had yeah, low-voltage on it. If your battery goes down to two point six i think it will stop working oh well, that's very good that's quite handy isn't it yeah um i'm so really 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 enjoying that uh, i've got this the um i coon i could uh, it's got two u's in it i coon <laughs> don't get us into any more trouble <laughs> that'd be, that, that'd that'd be two that'd be two o's that'd be two o's <laughs> it's two u's i need to practice i need to practice with it <laughs> wow, Kun. Do you try? It's getting I worse. I eighty. I can get around. I was just going to say, uh, my boss and and friend Simon. <laughs> on one of the first times he met his ex wife's parents, they were playing, they were playing Scrabble, and he put that down <laughs> on the Scrabble board. <laughs> and they said, "You can't do that." And he went, "You can." He's short for raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the Americans call raccoons coons, don't they? I think it's just a bad word here, isn't it? It used to be used. <laughs> I think it's a word. That's, not what, I'm that's not what I was saying. A cheap con. The icon I80 from Ely. Yeah, it's just like a. I, I'm not, I'm a not here. Thing. I'm Milo not here. V4, Milo V4 on top. It's I'm mistaken. Like it's, two, it's got 2.7 volt cut off. Sorry. I can't get up now. I only sell the boards and didn't even know that. Oh, fucking Christ. Uh, so that's that, and that's it's all right. It's like a it's like a really budget thing. It's got a built-in battery. Um, it's so it's sound. It's sound. It's solid. It's only like thirty-five quid or something with a Milo V4 on top. So pretty good. Uh, that's a thing. I sent you a nice color one this time. Oh, it's a relief. It's a relief that you want red and black. <laughs> I, I got sent the new um, Penguin SE today. They've uh, oh. revitalised the Penguin. Have they sorted the coils out? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, that's like the end of that review then, isn't it? They, <laughs> they, they changed everything but the coils. And they were the only thing that needed changing. Oh. You've spoiled my review. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> lastly, on Rick Squonka, I have the new Pulse 24. So, uh, this was Tony B's creation. This was, he, he did the Pulse 22, which was a single coil Squonka RDA thing. Uh, very flawed in its design and quite tasteless. Um, it's done a 24 version. Um, this is now dual coil, uh, specifically for dual coil. And uh, I haven't had it long enough to say anything. Um, I'd, although I would probably say on first inspection, it doesn't seem like it's going to be able to feed the wicks quick enough squonking. Hmm. Do I, should I qualify that? Uh, yeah. The cotton goes, yeah. the cotton goes into these uh, hole into these side slots here. And the juice doesn't come out of the top out of the middle it comes into those holes ah oh. uh, that's no good i'm slightly worried about um that um will be a bit slower wicking won't it definitely yeah, why don't... did they overcomplicate something that's quite a simple thing really i don't know um <laughs> but I, yeah i don't want to say too much more than that uh <laughs> yes it's a thing it's a thing and i'm vaping it and that's that um yeah so that's that uh next craig hello what did you have for lunch 
What are you having for tea? Or what have you had for tea? I think you just had your tea, didn't you? Yeah, I had, I had cheese. I had cheese toasted cheese rolls. They were all right. Um, have you ever smelt an egg <laughs> or an egg-like smell in a in a place where you wasn't expecting to smell an egg-like smell? Uh, and what are you vaping on? Te we we did a week away at a technical college in Stoke, and somebody glamorous and, and 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 we were all in like the the cafeteria, and it was really really busy. And somebody threw a an, a little stink bomb in there, and they had to like evacuate the whole fucking place. There was fucking thousands of people had to get out because it just it was fucking awful. Yeah, so that was the last time I smelt an eggy smell in a strange place. A stink bomb, you know, the classic. Yeah, the classic. Back in the. When, oh, God, that would have been about 85 or something. God. They were, used to come in little glass vials, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. But they didn't always break when you chucked them. Yeah. So then you had to the stamp on it, and then your shoes stank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like does it? <laughs> that's, that's a vivid, <laughs> vivid memory there. I've still so, not gone back in that Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, what did I have for dinner? I had uh, thank you baked potato um, for dinner. Spadulicky. Yeah. With a what? Spadulicky. Spud, spud, spud you like, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I had a, a spud you like uh, with cheese on top. It was quite nice. So that's kind of my run-of-the-mill safe bet. Cheese, baked potato. Thanks very much. Uh, so I had that. And then what am I vaping on? I am vaping on. I've got the Holmes on top of the hex ohm uh 2.1 <laughs> i decided uh, to try and build that atomizer lower because you took the piss and now i fucking fucked it up <laughs> <sighs> oh, so yeah so i've got that uh and in that i am vaping on lemonzilla from just had nick and coil vapes which is it's really really bedding in nicely now that is it's really it's, you've got there's a, quite a few people addicted to that yeah stuff. it's got that it, it drops you got that lemon kind of drops and it becomes quite quite pleasant stuff that does mark well. gave the um funnel cake the thumbs up didn't he mm, yeah yeah, yeah. Mark, todd he got some todd. funnel cake what um, is what is funnel cake for us over here it's obviously something that you have in america and uh, i've no idea i know what a funnel is but uh, 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 own shaped cake or yeah it's filled up with a little bit cinnamony kind of pastry type thing and yeah it looks like an ice cream cone but it's made of like a um... oh, so it's because of the shape then yeah yeah you fun. fill it with cream or, um, or maybe a little bit of um, like raspberry syrup or something like that and you just eat it okay so yeah so uh, I'm on normally that. seen it normally seen at state fairs and places like that I think any any yanks isn't it oh Scotty Bogfoot, Bogfoot, who's Canadian, so he doesn't count. He's saying, yeah, we uh, don't even know what pound cake is. That's just something you get in pound stretcher over here, pound cake. Fox is saying Battenberg. No, it's not Battenberg. What's the quid in the shop? Yeah, it's not Battenberg. No, no, not Battenbergish. It's kind of, but yeah, anyway, cakey. He's cake, a bit cakey. Um, anyway, uh, then I got the Therion DNA 75C with the Origin on top and a Chris Mumbel cap. Um, and in that i have got uh raspberry fields from strawberry fields and just had nick and that mm. i do like that um and then the last thing and i've been using i've probably used this most of the week i've got i don't think i've got any other bits here really oh no i've got one, one other thing been using the hydrogen with the origin and the usual setup loads this week and i've got oh, um, best uh oh no it's i can use the mod it's the tanks i can't use for right. to lend. so i've kind of got i've got um oh fucking old fluff blueberry fluff in that fluff. is that a new one fucking uh, fluff. um so i've got fluff in that uh from just a nick and what's the last thing i was going to do oh the last thing is i've got the dog a uh, mudder with a uh with one of Sean and Bessie's Golden Vape strip tips over the top of the... Hey, look at that. As if I'm on you. Ah, that makes it better, doesn't it? 
Yeah, on top of the um, tobacco super tank mini, which which there seems to be a big hunt on again for these things. So there's quite yeah, there's quite a thing going on for some reason. I don't know why. So um, yeah, so and that's got what the fuck's that got in it? Oh, that's got uh, raspberry fields, strawberry fields in it as well. Don't want to, I've got that in there as well. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm vaping on. I think that's about it. Rick? Yeah. What are you vaping on? What did you have for tea? What are you vaping on? And... Oh, fuck it I need... I could do with something eggy. Uh, do you still remember... All of the words to the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, of course I do. I've got kids. Yeah, do, they I do, need, do I need to recite? Do I need to recite those, those, those words? And I'll leave that entirely up to you. I, I, I don't nah, know. Everyone knows the words to Humpty Dumpty, don't they? They shouldn't have sent all the king's answers and all the king's men, should they? they should have kept someone back at home for the war. They shouldn't have fallen off the wall. Should have sent uh, some cooks. And some engineers. <laughs> I was going to say maybe, maybe maybe onions, onions a little bit of ham. They sent soldiers. Dumpty, Dumpty, is it a, that? Is it Ding John Lee? Ding John. <laughs> Any the Korean, the, the Korean Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Oh, him. Well, he, he looks a bit like Humpty Dumpty, doesn't he? Do you know mm. what it really was? It does look a bit like Humpty. I do know what it was. It's it a cannon. Yeah, it's a big cannon. You re but saying that right, you know, Richard, he did send soldiers, so that is apt for soldiers to mend cannon. cannons. And that well, soldiers from what, what the story you, I you heard, know, the Richard, <laughs> I heard that the cannon exploded, and that the way that was the way of passing on news, so the people didn't forget it was to make it rhyme. So kind of. I thought it. Was, I thought it really did fall off the wall because they mounted them on the on the top of the. I, I thought it exploded. I thought that was the. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Chat'll chat get there's us. Always a, there's always an underlying chat. seriousness. No, we, British, nurses, yeah. British nursery rhymes are pretty dark when you if you look through some of them. Little, little, about, Bo, like, little, Bo, Peep, little Bo Peep was about AIDS, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. About AIDS. Ringa Ringa Roses was about the black plate. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, they're all yeah. pretty dark, uh, aren't they? Jack and Jill was about. Uh, Having an affair or an incestuous behavior or something. Yeah, quite good. So some good value in, in researching those old nursery rhymes. Fucking hell, do we cool. get away with well, doing this? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I had chilli for tea. I had chilli and wraps. Pretty, it's a Thursday staple for us, I think, chilli and wraps. Chilli and wraps. Uh, yeah, chilli and wraps. Is every, day, is every day the same? <laughs> yeah, it's every day. <laughs> I don't have chilli and wraps every day. Right. But I would. I, I like would. chili wraps. Would you really? I can have it every day. No, I couldn't have it every day. But it is, it is a favourite. It is a favourite <laughs> of mine. Right. Um, <laughs> what else, Craig? What, are you what am I vaping on? Do you know yeah. what I'm vaping on? Yeah. Yeah, go on then. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am vaping on. I've got a G-Prov... Paradox Squonk that I got off of George Povertidis with a goon nice. on top. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And I'm going to let this one, Craig's going to have a go on this one next. So I'm going to bring this up to Fest for Craig to have a play with. It's Paula. It's got a bottle in it. Look. Oh, I'm <laughs> I am so dead. Oh, she's dead. You, oh, You're divorced now, Craig. Crack in face, and in that, what have I got? I've got a mango menthol mix that I made up in that one. <laughs> Chris Scott mods still yeah. love this mod the more I use it the more I like it um, and this guy on top I'm really into these RDTAs that are squonkable now as well like John said about the next era um, it just works it's a little mod and it's got eight mil eight a ten milliliter capacity on it with a bottle underneath it mm. I like that visual the, the visual bit is the thing that gets me that's what I like I just like yeah. having something somewhere just to tell me that's what you should bring up then Craig you should bring your guy up bottom feed it and it'll be perfect for the way you vape because you like a tank vape don't you so i, I gave it to uh christian christian munoz the bell vape. Uh, i'm really enjoying the guy now it's perfect for 
I'm, I'm running a juice. What have I got it at? 30 watts. It's just perfect. Oh. Oh. And I've got the last, the last few dregs of the French blokes juice in there. Not the French blokes juice. It's been going for a long time. That juice, it's so sort of, it's quite throaty and pretty heavy on the coulada. So it's, it's a lower wattage vape, and it just seems to last. Well, that's the end of that. That's, that's run out now. Oh. Um, so yeah. Um, you if you're a got this back, friend. got this oh. back today from from our, from our friend Mike Dacus. Somebody's got a hodor, and it's not me. It's not me. Oh. Oh. Huh? I can't hear one. Yeah, it's you then. <laughs> me? Yeah. yeah. You're you, you hold door in. Should I refresh? No, no, you're good now. You're good now. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. yeah Mike, Mike nicely, he fixed this up for me. I was an idiot. You know, I had the guy on top and it came with the bottom feed pin installed that I didn't know about it. And it didn't have the screw in the top of it to block it off. Uh, well the juice was pissing all through the mod and it went through and i found it in a puddle and because i've got stabilized wood actuators underneath there they uh, they swelled up and they were stuck they, they were stuck fast so mike oh. uh very nice of him he, he took it back and he fixed it up and oh, it was back one. with me uh yesterday yeah hey. um i got the cryos the cryos the cleto exo on top of that with a grape menthol juice that I made. <clears throat> Finally, got a new mod today as well. <clears throat> I've got the Onk Squonk today. The Onk Squonk? Yeah, from a guy called Steven, Onk, Onk, Onk Squonk, O-N-K. And look, it's got it's even got a little custom laser etching on it for Mod Maker oh, Designs. Cool. It's quite good. I just saw him making it. It's a good, honest mod. It's not made from stabilised wood. It's just, I think he does three different woods. And I said, oh, I'll quite fancy an oak wood one. And uh, it came today. It's quite cool. It's got that corner cut out for the bottle. So you can, it's quite, it really is quite really comfortable like to squeeze. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really like good. It. And it's really good price on those. So if you want to go and have a look for Onk Squonk and uh, hit him up for one, because these are amazing value for what they are. What, what is it? A like page or a group or something? I, it's a, he's got a group. He's got an Onk, Onk Squonk uh, Facebook group. Yeah. Yeah, got that today, and on that I've got the goon on top with a uh, voodoo brew in that. Um, one other thing, it's not it's not what I'm vaping on; it's what I'm uh, using while I'm vaping. I got a vape nut. It finally turned up this week. Have you I seen those? The... I, I had a bad case of that a while ago. Oh, did you, you spill your juice on your lap? Who makes it, Rick? The vape nut is it Joytech? So I think it might be. I can't remember now, to be honest. But I'll tell you what, it's a lovely little thing. Once I realised that you have to take the filter out of the plastic bag, it actually works really well. well I had it on for a day with the the filter that's inside it. There's obviously a fan and a filter. I used it for a day, and it sort of looked like it was working. It was dispersing. It must have been blowing some air out the bottom and dispersing the vapour. But when I real so it looked like it was working. When I actually got the bag off of the filter and put it back in, it's brilliant. You can have it on the, the lowest setting, which it's got four settings for how how fast it spins. If you've got it on the lowest setting, it's sort of like just hardly hear it at all. It just sort of it's just on, and you don't know it. When you blow vapor over it, it's got a sensor, cranks it up even to full. It's got three more settings above. If it sees a really thick loaded vapor there, it will turn it up full bore and suck it out. It's really really is so good. I'm getting another one for home. Nice. Really Very like nice. it. It's really well made. It looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. And it works. Yeah, it's really so, nice. So it is a really nice so little It's working thing. in your office, even in a big space. Yeah, I've got like it that. by my monitor. I have a big old vape and blow it over there and it's just gone. Yeah, Eric so Eric, Eric Murray in, in chat says, uh, yeah, Joey Tech, make it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was about, I think I, I bought it from China because um, I'm cheap. And it was about 55 quid or something on Gearbest. Nice. Uh, that's with delivery. So, yeah, I've got another one coming for the front room. Nice. Um, so that's it. That's what I'm vaping on and using while I'm vaping. John, you're muted. I was, I was vaping. Sorry. Uh, got any news for us, John? Any news this week? Yeah, and no, and yeah, and no, and yeah. Um, 
I know it's I don't think we've covered this so I'm gonna do it um have we covered uh, Mitch Mitch's move we haven't covered Mitch's move no we haven't I think so right Mitch recover it and tell me because I don't know oh I yeah. think I've actually <laughs> placed the wrong Okay, no, I've got it. Okay, let me just read it. Uh, uh, Mooch is a friend of the show, so uh, I feel fine doing that. Giving the Moochster a bit of time. Oh, yeah. Um, Okie dokie. <clears throat> it was titled on Reddit, a battery testing update and decision. I'm going to go kind of skirt around the update because the decision's more important. <clears throat> He's doing the married battery testing at the moment. I'll say I won't scoot around it because he's well written. So this is Mooch. <coughs> it's not, it's me, but I'll do it Mooch. <laughs> Married battery testing is done and there is over 60 pages of data to go back through and summarise. I hope to post the results and my recommendations in two to three weeks. I won't be saying anything about it before then. As you may have noticed, the pace of my testing has slowed down significantly recently. My day job is taking a lot more time lately and this prevents me from doing much uh from doing as much of the testing as i would like to do i've been agonizing over this for months but i have this finally decided i would like to do this and other testing for our community full time i found the work i have done uh these past two years really satisfying and there is much more i can do but there are a lot of bills to pay and testing doesn't generate any income any income quite the opposite in fact um, I have some ideas, including the dreaded P word, uh, but we'll be spending a lot of time these upcoming days trying to work out ways to generate enough income to be able to farm out my day job to others. This would uh, free me up to do testing full time. Things like cycle life testing, expanding which sales I test, charge testing, and getting my YouTube channel up and running could be added to what I'm already so to what I'm doing now. Um, I have about 70 YouTube topics already written down. A good start, smiley face. Um, an update on all this in a few days. Uh, in the meantime, the next test report will be posted. Uh, it's a 20, it, it just tells you it's going to post next. But that's what Mooch is saying. Oh, that sounds If ever there was, cool. If ever there was a justifiable use for Patreon in vaping. I typed yes. exactly that. Yeah. I typed exactly that in yeah. there, but that's it. That, that's the that would be it. Yeah. But also, well, also, I feel like there might be an opportunity to talk to some ven some manufacturers about it as well. And, ven just... and vendors, I think. I think and vendors because vendors are they rely on this information a lot. And I, I, can, I think I can think of fifteen Chinese companies that benefit from what he does, and. Yeah they could all chip in a very small amount to them and all the people who've nicked his results and stuck it on their pages and uh, quote him constantly may not even mean to uh on sites and stuff if you yeah if you chucked in 10 pound a month which i think is a bargain that's exactly what i was thinking if everybody who uses his information uh commercially yeah. sponsored him for 10 quid a month he would soon have an income from it yeah, yeah. I think I think that that's that the I, reason I why like, I think I've oh, gone, John. Before you Craig, I was going to say I was going to say that Craig from the start of Patreon, uh, uh, when we've been chatting privately, has said that the person he feels would uh, be unequivocally, unquestionable, a good idea to use Patreon would be Mooch. Yeah, and yeah. Sign and up to you can sign up to his Patreon, and if you're a vendor, you'd have access to his files to use. I suppose. Yeah, and he can do because he can do things like vendor only files. The reason why I like it, why I like Patreon for something like that is it's a long term project and all of the information that comes out of it is objective and it is useful to everybody. And that's the perfect reason as to why Patreon suits it. I suppose his, his dilemma is whether he obviously needs to make a living doing it if he's going to chuck his job in and do this full time, but he would be limiting his reach. By just going down the Patreon route, so he's not reaching as many people and it's saving and I think that's why it's up in the air from the four volts. Yeah. 
and as soon as he does the YouTube thing, we'll put it in the we'll, we'll do all of that stuff. Well, well uh, to be honest, we'll probably end up mugging him again and saying, right, you know, yeah, put him on the show. Yeah, we'll get him on the show and talk about it when he's got his plan down, and we're yeah. But Mooch, do the Patreon behind him on that. Do the Patreon thing, Mooch, because I think a lot of people, me included, are, are, are put money towards that, mate. I, I think it's I think it's invaluable and it's long term. It's a proper project and it's objective or even just even just a subscriber if he didn't want to do patreon he could he could have some sort of subscription and people could use his data have access to his data to use legitimately instead well, of the uh, instead of the youtube channel he could do all his videos through the patreon platform it could yeah, be. but then he's cutting so his reach off to people who don't... yeah but his, his reach is huge his facebook group is massive yeah but it won't be mm. if he's putting it on facebook and if he's only putting it on patreon though not many people are going to see it, are they? Compared to who would see it free on YouTube? It yeah. depends. It depends on what he does. If he does some on YouTube and does some through Patreon for one-offs, and or he does, you know, a lot of people with things like Patreon do like uh, Patreon-only Q and As, where they do like anybody that puts in above a certain amount gets to join a hangout or something, where they talk to him for like an hour or something every month, or they do things like that. And if vendors do that, it, especially if vendors do that, then I think that's a good idea that if they have a vendor. If they've got a, like a, a particular vendor hangout where he can speak to them, so it's only people that are selling batteries and they've got various questions to ask him, and stuff like that works. He's got a lot. I think there's loads of angles in this. It's just it's yeah. it, what it is is it's working out the ones first of all which are going to support him, and secondly, the, getting the best reach. Those are the two things really. So I think he could go down a subscriber route, and I, I think he's got the information there, and people will be happy to keep him doing his stuff if they make money from it but i don't think the end end user will want to pay 10 pound a month to know that a vtc 5a is the best mech battery no but it's almost the knob who bought who bought it who sold it to him and watched it i think it's yeah. Fine. yeah and the other thing is is that how quick the testing will be done i think is is fantastic you know yeah. it's just a bonus so. yeah we'll keep you posted um, on that on that definitely yeah i just wanted a little uh, uh, i'm not going to go down the whole thing but it was um it was Kevin Magwood's funeral this week, and and a, and a lot of people uh, have been remembering him. Um, and uh, yeah. a quick shout out to Kev. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and, uh, I'll have a pint with you next week, Dave. We'll raise a glass for <coughs> for Kevin at Vape Fest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I loved. Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, Kevin, on the um, SV banner for the for the marquee. Yeah, they've got the whole lineup, and then Kevin as um, Obi Wan Kenobi at the side. It's just awesome. <laughs> See, they saw that. I went, <coughs> choked. <coughs> Some dust in the air. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> uh, I'll do the last one. No, oh, this is just a plug. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Cactus Punch uh, Tropical and Mojito, uh, Mojito are the next things to be released at Just Add Nick, and that is going to be uh, next weekend at Vape Fest. What we're going to do is it's only for sale at Vape. I know a lot of people do a thing where they go, we're going to sell it dual, we're going to put it on the website, and we're going to put it at the show. We can't. Uh, it's just logistically, we don't know how many they're going to sell. I've got. 300 bottles of each concentrate to go well about uh, probably more like 280 280 bottles of mojito 280 bottles of tropical to take to vape fest and uh, I, I can get some more and um, the creator mark selby is going to be there as well at, um, at vape fest and um that goes on the site when we because we're shut on the monday after vape fest because we're traveling back so just that nick will be shut on monday the Seventh, Sixth, seventh, seventh. Um, so that we can get back from Shrewsbury because we're obviously it's a long, long, long weekend. Um, yeah, and then we'll be back on Tuesday. So anything that's left on Tuesday, we'll make sure it's up on the site. The next thing, no swearing for a second. Fuck <laughs> all shit, can't pass. Uh, Ronnie Douglas, who uh, watches the show, just asked us because Rio, his his young child, is a is a fan of the show, and wanted us to all just say happy birthday to Rio. So happy birthday, Rio! Happy birthday, Rio! Happy birthday, Rio! 
No, <laughs> Rick's muted. <laughs> Rick's muted. Happy birthday, Rio. You shall not pass. There you go. Oh, brilliant. Now, <laughs> stop him watching it, Ronnie. But he thinks well, I look it's... like Gandalf, in case anybody... <laughs> I was just doing, anybody the, I was doing the swearing after the birthday, so if Ronnie doesn't turn it off, it's his own fault. Shit, bollocks, fuck. Fuck, fuck, cunt. That's your fault if you didn't turn it off. <laughs> John's not got kids. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank fuck. Craig! <laughs> <laughs> What's in the news? Ah, first of all, I need, to, I need to say this very clearly. E-liquid is not conductive. What? what? Really? Amazing, what? isn't it? Right. It's not conductive. I will, I will stipulate one little thing, which is, I'm sure if you banged fucking millions of volts through it and a fucking huge amperage, Oh, I think if you Maybe. drip some on a transformer on the top of a pylon, I reckon it would be. It but that's not the that. same thing. That is not the same thing as it making something fire. So just like to make it very clear, e-liquid is not conductive. Now, if you just want this. No, go on. Go, go on, John. We're, we're, uh, well, what I'm setting thinking... up an experiment to break another myth because about something that somebody you're gonna to you're gonna do the you're gonna do the thing that we talked about beforehand, which was also in the post that I, I made. Oh no, no. Yeah. I, I was actually gonna get a, I was actually gonna fill a glass with VG and drop a and drop a battery in it at this point. Craig's but... already done that. Like, I, you, right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna prove it's not conductive. Right, okay. When I press that button, okay, if it was conductive that would have probably blown up okay that's because it's full of liquid and there's a positive and a negative and there is a current passing through it okay it will not make a pure mac tube fire something else will have done that and i'd just like to you know because what happened was i also sent a video to damien at one o'clock in the fucking morning going here you go i've just proved it Right, <laughs> went out in the, the alleyway down the side of the house, got a battery, mixed up some PG and VG, and knocked the battery into the into it, and just sat there and watched for two hours, okay, till three in the morning, okay. I was watching that battery; it did fuck all, okay. It's not conductive. It's it's amazingly deionized. It's not going to carry any kind of current if you do that. You might be able to bang a bit through it. But somebody also used the example of okay, well, if I drop a um, toaster, I drop a, head, a toaster or a hairdryer into a bath, then it'll you know I'll get electrocuted. What's actually happening is you only need a tiny part of that current in order to kill somebody, and that's what you get. Okay. And, and the other reason it kills you is because water is such a shit conductor, actually. Yeah. Because it, it jumps to you instead. Yeah. Th that that is the reason it's so shit. And that's how you, you know. I was just going to show uh, uh, the other thing. I have done this on a Facebook group once through to another argument where someone was turbo steeping e liquid, their term, um, in a microwave. And I said, <laughs> I don't put flammable liquids in microwaves. And they went, oh, it's so thick. It's not flammable. I'm just going to, just to prove it is. Whoops. It's not. It doesn't light anymore. <laughs> there you go it definitely is flammable there you have it so just two things you found out today it doesn't yeah, conduct electricity but it is flammable yes so uh in in relation to things that happened we're not going to discuss the things that happened and the reason why this kind of appeared or anything else but that was completely something else, totally unrelated. So, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we can touch on something. Just, on. just really, really briefly. And I'm just going to put this out there. Um, uh, people get very, very carried away with Facebook. Uh, oh, they, they just do. And um, I think that's plain to everybody. <laughs> um, as soon as you turn... If you disagree with something somebody said, that they, they've stated a, a, something they believe is a fact, as soon as they state what they believe is a fact, uh, you, you can debate with them, you can argue back and forth. What you perceive as a fact, that's totally fine. As soon as you, as soon as you change the rules 
and you start making personal insults, you lost. Instantly. As soon as you type in, you're a dickhead, whatever, you've lost the argument completely. Um, it, it, it's ludicrous. You do need to just check with yourself. Is that something you would say in person? If it's not, don't type it down. I, I saw a thread the other day in a group, I'm not going to say, but it, 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 somebody typed something that angered the community mm -hmm. somewhat. And instead of people reasonably arguing, maybe the admin should have shut the thread down, but um, it just turned personal so quickly, out of nowhere. I, mean, I didn't really understand that at all. So just have a bit yeah. of a mind on yourself. So just very quickly, uh, Niji says, um, um, just in chat about it being, uh, he says, let me just scroll back up, VG and PG are hygroscopic, which means they absorb water from the air over time, so leak, leak liquid into a regulated mug can cause problems later. A couple of things on that. First thing is it's not enough to make something autofire. It will not autofire. It can't, it, if that is causing a connection to be made, conductive enough, it won't be enough to be able to provide enough current through it in order to be able to make the thing fire. That would be the point of the most resistance still. Okay, so whatever was going on in the atomizer, it might be getting the tiniest of currents from that what's been able to pass through that particular wall of, of liquid in it. It's not as good a conductor as steel or copper or silver or any of those. That's, that's what you'd need in order to be able to make an atomizer fire. There has to be a physical connection through something that's conductive enough to do it. Um, I forgot what the second thing is, but it doesn't really matter. Now I've done the first one, does it? Um, anyway, um, next up, I've got an article here, which is I just this is a very very quick one, and I just I, it's one of these things which is like no shit Sherlock, uh, and the no shit Sherlock is this, which is vaping ban on U.S. flights upheld. That's really all I have to say on this, which is <laughs> which is what did, what did you really expect to happen? Okay, this was Kassar and a few others had argued that the, because the two things weren't the same, that it shouldn't be, you know, that, that one should happen and the other one shouldn't. It's it's like, no, I don't think you get get the point here, which is they don't want either of them just because it's a smell. They don't know what it, what it does. It's just, and, and we're used to it. We, why why is it a problem for, the, for us to be able to do something which we couldn't do when we smoked? It was, it was, it was put to the the or the uh, the US Aviation Authority, wasn't it? Is that who it was put to? Yes, it was, yes. It was put to the, sorry, it was put to the US Department of Transportation, DOT. Yeah, because I've gone with, well, I've got one on going through at the moment with the British um, Aviation Authority. I just want to just wank on the flight. It's boring, isn't it? 12 hours. Got to do something. What have they, they said? What have they said, John? I, they said I, don't wanna, I can't really go into detail. I'm going to find out the ruling next week. Are you going to get like, I'd imagine it'll be like you'll be given a box, a box with like, a box. A, you, you can either ask for a left hand box or a right hand box. <laughs> and then and then you can shuffle to your heart's content in the privacy of your own box. <laughs> just just like that in the box, just kind of like people won't have an idea, won't have a clue what's going on under the box. You know what, what they ought to do in the planes is they ought to get a load of uh, vape nuts in front. Like Instead of your telly, they would have had NAF film on it, have a vape nut on the back of the chair in front. <laughs> but you know, I think what would actually happen is somebody, if you say they did pass it and they said, yeah, you can vape. If somebody let out a little plume of like of, of vape smoke, how do you tell the guy 20 rows back who's just lit a Benson that that's not... That's the one who's got a bomb which is misfired and it's currently yeah. smouldering. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got a bloke trying to light his shoe. Look. That's Richard. That's yeah, our, yeah. His name's Richard. Richard. Like, Richard. His name is Richard. Oh, it's time for what's in Craig's drawers. Uh, right, you've, got to, you've got to choose between A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Right. First person to choose one of those in chat is going to do it. Pick a, pick, a, pick a letter. Pick a letter. Pick a letter. Pick a You're letter. watching the Idy Lamp Show. What's in Craig's drawers? What's in my drawers? What's in my drawers? Oh, there's a little bit of a delay in there. Yeah. yeah, there is. Uh, just very quickly, what, before oh, somebody taps one in. Before someone one by, oh, we got C for cunt by Chris Bishop. God damn it, you keep picking the same. Hold on, I'll be right back. I've got back. Okay, okay. I think you should... Uh, I should well, I'm going to see. He's going to be like... One. 
I, I, I picked C. Right, I'm going to pick. I picked two atomizers out of this. Look, I've got one already. You can stop typing letters. <laughs> <laughs> Just reading it all. It's like Gattaca. Yeah, uh, says the one with the clones. Then. The one with the clone. No, they're not in there anymore. <laughs> but, uh, I've got in there. I've got a. I've got a black lemo, original lemo. Oh, they were all right, weren't they? Yeah, it was. Um, God damn it! Oh wait, no, it's come undone. It's come it's undone. A it's, a, it's a It's a squeaker. It's a squeaker. It's got a deck that looks like. I was going to say the lemo was the first thing that kind of nicked the cave fund, but got away with it. Yeah, you kind of stole yeah, quite a bit. Channels there, there, isn't it? Hang on, what about the Russian ninety one? Oh, ooh, well, isn't the K fun? Isn't the K fun a bit of a copy of that as well? Were they copying each other, weren't they? Uh, I think the the Russian copied the K fun, didn't it? <laughs> I just and got the K fun copied the Russian. Yeah. I just got. Oh, thank we're now you. we're now having an argument from five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just got to thank you from uh, Ronnie Douglas for saying um, happy birthday to me. Hey. To, 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 to wake up tomorrow and ask him his mum what I can. <laughs> <laughs> How many you... candles is he burning? I don't know, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not even going to send it back. Ronnie, how many candles is he burning? But the other bit he had, he had quite a nice little refill on the bottom of it. Yeah. That that's screw good. That screws a thing as well. It oh. does something, doesn't it? Is that the airflow adjustment? No. The, the, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the screw yeah, is yeah. the airflow. And that that's the thing that you do it's for convenient, the... convenient, isn't it? Reduce. It was all right. And the lemo dropped. <laughs> I had the lemo. That's <laughs> Has anyone yeah. got a flathead? I can I can use my nail. Oh, oh no, I can't. No, you can't. No, I can't. You're right. Uh, so I've got that. And the other one is uh, a bit of an old, uh, a, a bit of a Nigel special. I've got a uh, Conqueror in there. That the, old looks, dust, the old dustbin. That looks there. clean. So yeah, this one is. I look after. I do look after my stuff. This has got two coils in it. But look, you know, there's no. There's no juice in there, so if I sold it and send it to somebody, they would think this was acceptable. Um, oh dear! I tried to look and my conqueror. So uh, yeah, N Nigel likes these. That's my conqueror. So K Fund designed in Russia. Oh. K Fund designed in Russia. Russia. Uh, Russian. Yeah, it's some, uh, Yeah, it's very complex. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've got in there. I'm not showing you the other ones. I think you've already seen the other ones. I need to get more atties. So if anybody's got any shit atties. Any manufacturers that have got shite that oh, they want on the show. There you go. Oh dear. Stay You've just given a free ticket for Richard to get rid of all his crap. <laughs> I, have a, I have a draw with 32 disused atomizers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going through your draws next, Richard. Oh. At Vapor. Wouldn't be quite be the visual. visual. Yeah. I'm not looking for the visual, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it. You've seen it. I've showed you the pictures. Oh okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, next, back to the that was yeah, that next, was Watson Craig's draws. Yeah, that's what's in my drawers. Uh, apparently, uh, Nareg and the Narmods people are doing a new atomizer, which is I've got. There's one picture. I've just seen one picture, and that is it, which is the Narcar or Narca. Narca, Narca, Narca. That's it. Orca. That's all we've got, is it? That's the only thing we've got. That's one the only. Of these, thing it's one of these Narda likes. No, I don't know. It's a Narda that looks like a Narda. Narda that looks like a Narda. So have they said anything? Is that it? It's... Have they no, given any really. clues? Or... No, it's just that's pretty much it. And lots of people went, X1! And it's like, oh, for... Yeah, but yeah, it, they'll be pretty good. Uh, old Todd's review says, Narca, woohoo. Because he'll be getting a fucking free one. <laughs> Robert, uh, Narca is a Narba. Without the tank. Hold on, isn't that a Narda? Now there's a Nar bar as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is a Nar bar. That's the R B A. No. R D T A. Narta. Narta. So we're gonna have uh, fucking. Uh, well, he can only release another twenty-two atomizers before he's fucked. Oh yeah. Oh, Todd's, just, Todd's just answered Robbo by saying, "Oh no, it isn't." Oh, there we go. Yeah, come on, Todd Robbo. Spill the beans in chat. Yeah, Mark. spill the beans in chat. And we'll, we'll come tell back. Us, tell us something interesting <clears throat> about it. Um, next up, very quickly, while Mark and uh, Mark and Todd, Mark and Mark, um, catch up with things. Um, I just want to. We had a bit of a thread on uh, UK squonkers with Michael Mid Middenthorpe or Midden. Oh, 
fuck it, I, I should have put his name in the notes because I'm shit. Good enough. Um, yeah, and he, we got chatting a little bit about a thread where somebody mentioned that um, they wanted to know why an atomizer worked a particular way, and they thought that you know it'd be a good idea to get somebody on who made an atomizer and a, view, a reviewer to go through what makes good makes a good tank. Um, it touched. We started touching on heat flux and things like that. And, and at some point, I've, I know I've promised it for ages. I've, I've, I've got to do something with the heat flux thing, where I kind of put together a bit of a video to explain just basically kind of how it works and if you're going to use it, how to calculate with it and everything else. Um, I will do something. It's just very, very difficult without suddenly going off into this whole area of other things which appeared on that thread. But um, if you get a chance and you're on UK Squon, because I think, you know, Michael added a few bits and it's quite an interesting thread, actually. Quite enjoy that. So, um, um, but yeah. do, um, can you answer the, uh, the we're not going to do the suggestion. <laughs> What's the suggestion? The suggestion of having an atomizer design and a reviewer are the same time. Yeah, we're not going to do that now because the problem the, the, the problem is is that, that how it is whatever results you get back from. You can't quantify what he's going to say. It, it, it's 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 pointless. I actually don't think there's anybody that can quantify. No, I agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Whether an atomizer works, I think somebody with experience in atomizers, having i.e., you've had a hundred atomizers and you know what works for you, gives you some sort of. You know, it, gives you an idea of, it gives you a qualification as to what works for you yeah but then if it works for you it doesn't mean it works for everybody so there's no you can't go and get a b-tech in atomizer technology because it's it's subjective come it's on you should be able to get a degree in reflexology not then even if <laughs> <laughs> Fucking and aromatherapy john isn't it? And aromatherapy. you can get someone that's had proven success in designing one yeah but they can only talk about oh, yeah. the ones that they've designed really or, or they might be able to point out I mean, there are a, there's a list of of things that you can kind of go through, and and myself and Rick kind of chatted just very quickly before, and just things like, you know, making sure that the chamber's big enough to hold all of the coils and small enough to keep it so that all of the air turns over and the atomizer quick enough. Putting the airflow near to the coil also helps an awful lot. But I think that the point of this is that if people go out and they want to play with something, I want to try and understand something, I think the coil is the best place to start with because it's a place that you have a direct influence over and you can work it out and the physics isn't too hard. It does go off the end if you really want to go off the end with it. But um, to get the basics down of things like heat flux and heat capacity aren't that difficult. So if you want to sit there and go through them all and work out why things do what they do, that's the place to start with it. It's as good a place as any. So, um, yeah. Start, I think start we've come a long way with at atomizer designs now, but it's all hit and miss. It's evolu the evolution of the atomizer is because of the balls ups along the way. And we know what works, not because we've got the, uh, the qualifications or the, the numbers written down on paper to, that we know why it works well through trial and error. Yeah, ninety percent of uh, atomizer designers will never have heard the t term heat flux. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Brandon. When I sat down with Brandon, oh, Brandon said, "You're the first person I've spoken to outside of Evolve who's mentioned heat flux," and I'm like, "Really?" It, it's 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 something that a lot of people just don't get to get to get to play around with. And I think it's. I think I think Fitzy just tuned in by the way because Fitzy's on the right time zone. Because the friend of the show, Fitzy, is currently in Inverness um, on on his jollies holidays, and he's going to be in. This is this is going to be his room on Saturday. Um, but hello, Fitzy, if you want. Hi, Fitzano. Yay! I hope he's having a great time, shit faced in a Scottish bar somewhere. Oh, not, eating, got, not eating fried haggis. We're going alien hunting on Sunday in um, in Suffolk. Um, we're going out for Sunday roast. I'm making an English breakfast, full English, Sunday morning. Probably going out to see a band on Saturday night and have a few beers. Mm. Good, sounds good, sounds good. So the next bit I just wanted to, I'll, I'll do, um, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll leave this second point until after we've done Richard's and everybody else's one because it's kind of a, it's a bit of a big thing, that one is, which is the... We'll leave the vape festy things. 
Okay. And what, and what we're doing and what we're doing next week till the last thing because that'll probably work. Uh, the other one is uh, just very quickly. Just want to wish Lee Ash all of the best. Um, he's been diagnosed with leukemia. Um, so the first thing I want to say is from everybody. I hope they sort it and fight like foot mate and all the best. And if you need anything, everybody's there for you. Um, the second thing is if you've I don't to partially I don't like bringing this up, but it fucking needs saying really, which is if somebody's having a really hard time in a modder and everything else, you know, for fuck's sake, have some tact, and mm. don't the moment that you find out that a person is ill and got something badly wrong, stick in a PayPal dispute. Poor form, very poor oh, form. Just yeah. the other just thing, uh, just to like just to give that uh, a qualification on 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 Lee. The, the only times um, I, I, I've spoken back and forth with Lee in, in the past, he is the first person. Whenever I've run uh, raffles, when I was admin of SV, he was one of those people who you knew the PM was coming. As soon as I started the raffle, Lee PM me to tell me got me a mod to, 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 to chuck in the raffle. This is the guy you want covering your back when stuff goes wrong. So do him the favour of covering yeah. his... The bottom way. line, yeah. Lee, Lee Ash is a stand-up fella. There's yeah. no way he's going to run off with your money. Really nice. Um, yeah. Give him a bit of space and yeah. time to sort his health out. Yeah, and just because it happened yeah. when it was on your your turn with your mod, suck it up and, and be there for him more than you are there for yourself. So it's kind of... You know, and he, and he to everybody know. else, <laughs> if you see someone doing that, take them out. Probably. Yeah, pull them up. They they probably have got pulled up if they said anything online about it. Anyway, do it. Do it. I mean, if you can do it privately, that's great. And I'm not. I'm not aiming this at anybody. But you know, Lee's Lee's problem was that it it upset his other half, and she do, she doesn't need that. Get that. But she we're right that. behind you, mate. And I hope you get better. Yeah. So yeah. if you need anything, Lee, just give us a shout. And I think that's probably it. I've thrown something at Rick, but I don't know if we really want to cover it, do we, Rick? You know, I haven't even looked at it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, so apparently the MHRA are looking into a getting somebody who's going to uh, look into adverse events in policy in uh, in vaping and put forward things that might affect policy. I'm not going to go into any more than that. So but... a corruption, a corruption thing, is it? No, it's to do with, I think, adverse events is things like explosions, um, oh. finding, you know, how, if a lot of shops are doing various things, do they need to change policy according to what they've done? And just just really all of that lot. But they were looking for something that was going on. So but I, won't go into, I won't go into it more than that. I'll put a link in the group or something like that. Um, the next one is Richard. Hello. What up? Hey, uh, Rick might need your help on these a bit. Okay. Uh, the first one is... Uh, Down and Dirty VA did a video. I don't know if we should play the video or not. I'll tell you what, we'll stick a link. I'll What's go and there? find it and put a link in chat. Oh, is it the Common Sense in. video? We'll put a link in chat. No, it's the, the breakdown of an e cigarette. Oh, not that. Don't yeah. put it on the page. Oh, that was page. interesting. Don't yeah. put that clickbait shit on the page. Right, so. Uh, Down and Dirty is a Facebook group of channel like thing like page thing and they make videos disassembling things and finding out more about them um some lass on there uh did uh, a breakdown of an e-cigarette and she starts off the video saying that everybody says you're just it's just water vapor that comes out of these things um <laughs> which which no one in e-cigarettes in vaping ever says no uh, the one thing it's definitely not is water vapor but she starts with that premise uh <laughs> she goes on to um to say it smells kind of funny uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it was at that point i realized it's not just water vapor <laughs> she then suggests that we're most likely uh, exhaling similar chemicals to that would be coming out of uh, a car exhaust pipe. One of them being benzene, which mm. is in nickel, lead, and benzene. Yeah, uh, benzene, she basically thinks you're vaping everything. a battery dry. Yeah, she basically yeah. thinks that you're vaping a battery dry. I think they actually checked, and there was less benzene in vapor than there is in air exhaled walking down the street. <laughs> she um. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I think she might be slightly wrong. Yeah. She ends up with saying, um, whatever it is, I don't know how qualified she is as a scientist. Or... I, I don't even think she was a real mechanic. I don't think she's really very qualified, really. I think if she took an engine apart, her first words would be, it's magic. She, she ended with, whatever it is, she hadn't completed a, a study, but whatever it is, <laughs> it's Still not completely properly. harmful, harmless. Never said it was. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. And again, it's what about compared to a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're looking at the cigarette and we're addressing well, you're that you're comparing issue. it to a cigarette, she's comparing it to a car exhaust. I mean, words well, similar. You know? Yeah, not far off. I just mind blowing. And it got the it got the treatment on Facebook anyway. Lots of comments from I lots did of lots of comments, papers. but lots of people not taking notice of the thing. Just screenshot it, post it. Don't pick up that link and share it. It's shit. I think it, don't yeah, I don't think it's a great idea to share, but I think it's a good idea to comment with an informed response. Oh, it was just it was slaughtered everywhere from where I saw. Yeah, all over their so, own comments. Uh, so. Oh, that was that was annoying. That was tedious. That was a thing. And just just to start off on this completely false premise and work out is this <laughs> madness. Uh, the uh, New Delhi Times did an article. Uh, NewDelhiTimes.com to vape or not to vape? We can probably pull that one up, Rick just as a, as a link. Uh, the New Delhi Times, uh, it, it's basically, you know, their sort of first article on vaping, on e-cigarettes. And so it's quite, a, you know, it's quite explorative in its narrative. And, you know, the first two thirds of it, um, you know, just basically breaking down what it is. But it does go on to talk about, uh, towards the end, it does go on to talk about the situation in... Um, in India with e-cigarettes and there's currently no regulation. Um, there's no uh, prosecution or policing of it at all. Um, technically available for under 18s. Um, and and it, it goes on to sort of, it, give, it gives actually a quite a nice insight into where they're at, which is just years behind really of, of where we w were. Um, but it's, 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 you know, it's lighthearted. It's, it's balanced. It's quite yeah. good. Do they talk about tobacco control? I'm, weirdly, I'm going to be in India in uh, about nine weeks' time. I'm going to be in India. Um, but uh, I, do they talk about... Because tobacco control over there is, is nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, well, no, it's, it, sort of, it sort of compares it to that a little bit. It sort of suggests it's a bit like that. There is no sort of formal theory on it or policy well, on it. Well, there's a state-by-state state tax... Uh, on on tobacco, so it goes it, it sort of goes up and down everywhere. Um, yeah, but they're not. It's not uh, that's a thing, but it's not really policed. You know, they're not. No, no, I'm sure. Cracking down yeah. on smoking, or they don't really have a policy on on it. And it's the same with that. And it, it's it's interesting that they're coming at it from a, it's not a, a starting point, but a starting point that already has this body of evidence in place. And it, they seem like they've got a really relaxed attitude towards it in general. Uh, so it's not setting off alarm bells over there. Well, uh, I, I, I'll report back. I'll be the man on the ground. Yeah, in be, it'd be interesting. Apparently, it's a thing. People are doing it. No one's too concerned. Um, that could it could be a huge, you know, a huge market for e-cigarettes um, potentially. So I thought it was a semi semi interesting. Um, the next one, uh, this one. This one freaked me out actually a bit. <laughs> this is uh, in the Metro. Uh, Rick's back. I'll try and get him to pull up the, the link to this when he can. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, uh, Rick, are you there? Uh, can you pull up the link to the Metro one? Uh, the Metro did an article on uh, uh, vaping, and it was common mistakes and how to avoid them. And it was actually quite good. Um, what for the Metro, Jesus? Yeah, it was really random of them to do this. I don't know if they've suddenly got a writer that's into it or or what have you, but it actually comes up with five very sensible common mistakes vapors make. Choosing the wrong e-liquid, talks about PG-VG ratios, um, getting a cheap device, you know, and, and we've all done that. We've all worked our way through the cheap stuff uh, on our way to getting something that we like. Um, not maintaining your coil, which is a good one as well. Um, not letting it go off in your pocket. That's and, a, yeah, that's a handy one. 
And uh, the one that I'm always going on about, the vaping like a smoker. You don't need to vape like a smoker, both in the way that you inhale it, but also in your attitude towards it. You know, a lot of smokers start with the same mentality of smoking. So I'll try and do this as little as I can. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'll try and only do this 10 times or what yeah. have you. You know, you don't need that attitude towards vaping. And, and have you seen you... his gif on here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He throws it, he, yeah, he's got a cig, he throws it away and then goes, oh, shit. Um, And also, another really good one, John's favourite one, using too little nicotine. Mm-hmm. Forgetting, your, <laughs> forgetting your charger, cotton mouth. I think it's, really... it's a constant. Somebody sent me an email that I just had Nick today talking about how they, they'd just fallen off the wagon and they were told, oh, fucking, I know you have to do this in a shop, but it drives me up the fucking wall. That thing of how many cigarettes do you smoke a day, and then they say, and then that, then that is put in, you know, there is an, a, a, a nicotine level associated with how many cigarettes you smoke a day. So you say 20, they go, oh, if you smoke 20, you need six. If you smoke 30, you need 12. You go, what? What the, what's that mean? It's just, just nonsense. It is nonsense because you just vape. You just vape more if you you subconsciously vape more if you're not getting the nicotine that you're used to getting. Yeah. And, and the other thing, because I've I've told new, what I always say to new vapors is the same thing. Just go out and knock yourself out. And, and I go, how many times can I use it a day? Yeah, I don't matter. Just do what you like. So just vape when you want when you want a fag, pick that up instead. And then they, yeah, I agree. Do what okay. you want. Right. This this, this article wouldn't be out of place on like a proper vaping website, a vaping blog site, or it's really, it's just it's really dialed in. It's really in tune. That's how it should be. That's good. I, I who's, who's and, and I'm not sure. I genuinely don't know anything about it. It's really surprised me when I found it. And there's no author. From a major there. major article. There's no bias on it. There's no plug at the end. There's, it's just a, a little chat about stuff vapors do. It's it's, right. it's actually uh, yeah thumbs up really for metro for that i don't know what inspired them for that but there you go um hopefully that's that's hopefully that's the future <laughs> yeah, uh, good, news, good newspapers see. just doing normal articles to help their to help actually their readers. some research in that and not just copying some someone else who's putting out i i, I strongly suspect it's written by a vapor yeah no oh, it is isn't it is yeah great. someone who knows what they're doing yeah and good. lastly last thing uh, the Schwarzenegger, Ian Schwartz, he, uh it's his vaping anniversary on Sunday. Oh, you already posted that? So, I called him a loser. The new, okay. <laughs> one year. One year. One year of vaping. Well done, mate. Give a fuck. Right, so we've been doing the show longer than he's been vaping. <laughs> no, just to be serious. Well done, Ian. <laughs> That's really, really good. Nice one. It's going to keep him off the fags for a year. But... I'd just like to say he was the best guest ever on VT UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. easily the infamous, the infamous. And it uh, will, so... is, is Ian going up to Fest on next week? Yeah, yeah, Ian's coming up. Good when... see him. Yeah, we'll see you next week. I think. Is it Rick's? Rick, have you got any bits and that? Rick, no, no, Rick's. Rick's done it. Oh, all I've got is a is is a showcase. <gasps> oh shit! Should we get into it? You want you want to answer the showcase? Yeah, go on then. What you think it's that it's that time, is it? Is that, that time? time? Yeah. Twenty four minutes past ten. And then and then Ah uh, It's the whistle. You know what that means? That means it's time for mod showcase of the week. All right then, let's get into it. We've got a mod friend we've got a mod to show you, a friend of the show. Everybody's friend. The godfather of vaping, in fact. Or the godfather of reviews. Um he's been getting busy lately, this lad. Um Let's just show it. I'm going to show you it. Let's show you what's being made by this fella. There we go. Mr. Scott Bonner. Ooh. He made a mod, but he's not only making a mod, he's making these beautiful blocks. I'm sure, I know we've spoken about him before, and we'll, ca- we'll carry on doing it. But he's come a long way from, from the shit box, hasn't he? He really I mean, he made has. a squonker years ago that was really shit, but he's been making some really beautiful things now with his own, with his own wood. Does anybody have Scott's coming to vape first? He, I haven't he, heard. he said he was going to do the Sunday. If oh great, don't, don't everybody don't everybody message him. If somebody wants to start okay. up saying on the group saying 
Scott, are you coming to bait first? Uh, please do that, and then we'll we'll all try and tag him. So because we'd all love to see him. Everybody was we'd really, really happy to see him. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we we'll catch up with you, with you, Scott, on Sunday or Saturday if you if you're up there, mate. Um, yeah, but he's made this, and it's, it's just it, it's nice. He's shown the bowl there, and now he's stabilised it and hyped and cast it with resin, and he made it into this mod. Um, and I just think he's just making some top quality stuff now. Yes, I think it, and the and the blocks that I've seen everybody, you know, all of our favourites using. Uh, they're, they're fantastic. Yeah, I mean, he's getting those colours nice, and I just think he's banging out some high end gear now. Really, it's it's there's a there's a few things you could pick holes in it, but you know, that's an honest, decent, pretty high end mod. The, exactly, yeah. it's the oh, I like the honesty of that. Yeah, it's a. It's good. I mean, he's got he's got the switch fit in. It's the same as you've got in your mod, there, Richard. He's got it hidden in in here, so yeah. it's not just a mechanical squonker. He's actually built a panel. It's he's got a faceplate on there, and the mechanic, uh, the electronics are behind that. Where will he got the parts from for that? I don't know. Some place, <laughs> but no, it's right in there. It. It's in there. Look, there's wire going through there <laughs> into the if behind you this make, plate. If you want to make a mod like that, you'll need skill. And some parts from modmaker.co.uk. <laughs> He's also <laughs> on the Facebook, <laughs> which is www.facebook.com. And if you'd like to buy any of Scott's wood, that is also available. Has anybody got Scott's? Uh... Turnwood FX. Turnwood, Turnwood FX. FX. Official sponsor of the show. Yeah, yeah. Turn, and uh, yeah, turn I just think FX. he's banging out some lovely blocks and some lovely. I'm going to have to get a block off Scott and make something with it soon. I think. Um, yeah, fantastic. Good work, Scott. Nice to see, you, mate. So that's all we've actually got. Mod Shokers of the Week this week. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, you did mention Julian B as well, and this is correct, which is there is a Bonner mod in the Vape Fest raffle. There is. Julian's, oh, yes. on, Julian's on the committee. That's why he's saying that. Nah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't Fucking know up. that. Did, I should have just, said that. They're just um, all watching this, just hoping that we plug Vape Fest. I think we should just yeah. turn off now before we do it. <laughs> uh, no, no, do the do the let's do troll of the week and then we'll go to bait fest stuff. Okay. Uh troll of the week, then Twitter, then bait fest. I've got a new song. Troll of the week. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Right, Rick. Any any audio likes? Pop one up. This is from um a blog post I found is on it? the webs. Yes, blog post found on the on the webs, and it was titled um, "Smug," the smug troll picture. <laughs> so these are the smug gits that have taken their time and effort to make a, a funny picture. Uh, obviously, this one, someone putting wet floor in a swimming pool. Brilliant. <laughs> the effort involved is good, though. That's brilliant. I love it. Uh, the next one that was Derby today when that rainstorm came through. Something about this one I really like. <laughs> I um, it's, on, it's on top of like a professor's or some sort of <laughs> uh, <laughs> door of <laughs> warning to whoever keeps adding OG to my door sign. If I catch you, you are dead. <laughs> and then Dr. A. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. OG at the end. <laughs> really took like bit, that. I, that took me a while to get that. <laughs> I, just, oh, I just, I just like there's something about that I really like. So it's a maturity level. <laughs> Why is there two of these? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, Richard. Oh no. We're straight that... to number four then. All right, go on then. Uh... Next one. This one. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Someone out of library just turned all the books in the mystery section around. <laughs> I'm obviously making which book you select to complete mystery. <laughs> which again is quite good, quite smug, quite good. Very good. And that was the glorious return of Troll of the Week. More next week. Real life oh. trolling. Real life trolling there. Yeah, proper oh, gorilla oh, comedy. Oh, if we do, if we're going to do that one very quickly then, because you're on about um, on about a little bit of trolling. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody saw in the week that there was a little bit of trolling going on with. Uh, with Twitter and a particular account where apparently um, Bernard Matthews had made turkey dinosaurs. So people have been making the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event out of 
the dinosaurs. <laughs> so they've, they've got broccoli trees and they've got beans as asteroids coming down. Like oh, yeah. So, yeah, they've got, uh, like, there you go, there's, a, there's one. Uh, that's quite, that's quite they look good. a bit like sperm, actually, those beans on that last one. Yeah. That one there where they've got the, they got the ground, the grass are made of chips and a volcano erupting, which is quite cool. No, they're not chips, they're runner beans. Great. Are they, are they, oh, yeah, you're right. Those green chips. Yeah, those green. green I'm chips. colorblind. I don't know these things. Oh yeah, of course. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. not not chips. Rather. I can't. I can't tell them. And the last one, which is a baked potato, a, a mashed potato uh, volcano. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, so apparently it's a, a bit of a thing this week where they've been making. I don't think I could cook that that fucking disgusting dirge in my oven. <laughs> the joke. That looks mysteriously like smash as well. Oh, yeah. I used to quite like a bird of Matthew's turkey burger when I was a youngster. Smash as well as fucking win. Smash is all right. Tur- t- yeah, turkey dinosaurs and smiley faces. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's covered in, in baked beans, it's all right, I reckon. When I went to the Ivy, that's what I asked for. They weren't impressed. <laughs> <laughs> turkey Twizzlers. Yeah, I think I had posh fish and chips. Did you not just have a... Have a blob of wasabi with your posthumous and chips. They uh, they put the ketchup. <laughs> you got it or mushy pea. They put the ketchup in so a little holster that was out of reach, and the waiter had to bring it every time I ran out of ketchup. I don't know if you've had that. A little holster. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did. You're gonna put it back in his holster. Oh god. Anyway, um, right. I'd just like to say, are we, I think I think we'll say it next week. We're not going to be doing a show next week. I don't think. Oh we'll... no! What? Because <laughs> no, okay, everybody remembers last year and what happened when I tried to do an outside broadcast with Jim Shorrock. It didn't didn't go well. And also, uh, John can't be here either. It's my wife's birthday eight, on the, next Thursday. So, uh, there's no one. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, so we decided, and because it kind of it does doing this actually does drain you um, i know it's unbelievable to you know that that he could but it does knock you out doing this so um next week we will be having a week off and um, we might do a few things over the weekend while we're at vape fest we yeah we might, might do... do some live videos and stuff and post them on the page and obviously those who are coming to vape fest i know there's some of you that can't go um, <laughs> vape fest. um sorry because mark just posted in chat no show cancel vape fest um <laughs> I know I know some of you can't go to Bait Fest, but those of you that can, we're gonna be there all the day. Uh are we gonna go through the tips of, of Bait Fest? Yeah, go on then. I'll tell you what, we'll do, we'll, we'll do that. I'll so tell you what we're here next week. So. we'll go round Robin until we've kind of had enough. So right, uh Richard, right. first your first tip. Um bring extra batteries. Okay. John? Good. Safely. Uh <laughs> not in your socks if you're going to say hi to somebody and we say this every time but every single time this happens if you're going to say hi to somebody that you know from Facebook or the YouTubes or Instagram you need to say your name first they know you know their name you need to say your name okay Rick bring a hat and bring sunscreen I was going to say that sunscreen uh, mine's going to be bloody hot. if it's sunny you're in the there are te- there is a tent you can get go in a big awningy tent thing that you can sit under, but you're going to be in the field with the sun beating down on you all day long. So yeah, my one is going to be uh, take deodorant and, <laughs> and, and use it a lot. Right, we'll go back round. To, we'll go back round to Richard again. Um, this is specific to vape fest. Um, if you're not disabled, don't use the disabled toilet. John, that's a good one for life in general. No, it? no, go in. No, <laughs> no, it is, yeah. Anywhere else, go in. Uh, <laughs> I'm I know, I had one for me. Um, uh, <clears throat> I know it's really fun that you're away from your own house and things like that, <laughs> but when you're camping in a field and you're surrounded by other people and you're in your same your own house and make the same amount of noise at 3 a.m that you would do in your own house because people do want to sleep they, they do don't 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 start shouting shit all night it's really irritating and rick um 
Okay. If you're going to buy a squonker, don't go so mental for these Frankies. There's going to be some British modders there making mods that are better. So go and support the British modders and buy off of them instead. Ryan Dorr, Chris Scott, SVB. There's going to be and, and others. I would love it. I would love it. Walking around as well. Yeah, and uh, Osrix as well. And yeah, and Osrix. Yeah, Benji's going to be there. Just there's so <laughs> many good mods out there that aren't Frankies. They're way better. I mean, they're they're not they're not in the same league. They're way better. <laughs> and the one I do, which is kind of linked to that, which is also, if you go to Vape Fest and you don't get what you want while you're there, don't be disappointed. Enjoy the whole weekend. Just just say to yourself, I'll I'll, I'll get it after when I get home instead. Don't don't go there and think that uh, and walk away saying, oh, just because I didn't get this mod that ruined my weekend if you go in there for that then you're gonna then you're in for for trouble go along and enjoy it first of all and worry about the hardware and all the other stuff later yeah and i missed out i missed out also sorry runt mods dave runts are great little mods yeah, yeah, yeah. there's loads there's loads of them you walk around see it all support your british yeah, yeah. Your british models well just yeah just go along yeah and richard should we do another lap I can, right. I can go again. Go on then. Go on then. Again, so a little bit specific to Vapefest. Uh, bring cash. Ooh. Yeah. Bring, bring ca you, we're in a field, so technology is a thing. Bring bring some cash. Yeah. John? Um, <laughs> I don't think I've got one. Come back. Oh, okay. Uh, go on, yeah. oh, John's out. <laughs> wow! I, I'll I tell did have one. Oh, I've... I got one. I got a really good one. Don't break anyone's ribs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't go up behind somebody, hug them, and pick them up. Because this happened twice last year, and so far we're on a duck. Don't break anyone's ribs at all. That should be your plan. <laughs> and um, Rick, if you haven't been to fest before. Don't think it's going to be anything like Expo or Jam because it isn't about selling tons and of, of uh, gallons of juice. It is, more, you know, although it, 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 <laughs> it, it is more, uh, it is more of a sociable event with stuff for sale. It's not going to be booby birds wandering around trying to entice youngsters into their and cloud blowing competitions. It isn't like that. that Enjoy, that, go there for the social side of it, and if there's something you like, get it. <laughs> to be fair, but, uh, you know, it's the social side that's the important thing. It's more rather than as you call them booby birds, it's more like mooby blokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and beardy blokes, beardy blokes instead of booby birds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. my one would be oh, fucking hell. I might have to go out first after <laughs> John's nearly no, I've got oh, one. God. Have you? Yeah. I've got one actually as well. Oh shit. Um Oh yeah. Make sure when you, enough, when you get there or or try to eat food before you get on site. Oh, oh, that that oh yeah. for the for the You really and I've done it uh, if I manage it this year I, I I'm really be pleased with myself. I forget to eat so often and it gets to nine o'clock at night and then I, I I'm eating chicken wings like a dog eating hot chips. <laughs> yeah like nine so you've got make sure before if you're coming on the friday and you're on the drive down and you're going to get there go and get your food before you get on site first that's the first thing you do get a good meal in because it time Enough just fucking flies it's weird yeah. it's really weird so make sure and make sure you get you know and a good breakfast in that just eat like so just eat so and back around to richard again uh no that was mine i was gonna say don't oh, complain. you're out I was there. Say, don't complain you? about the food prices. <laughs> oh, you've been they're wrong. not actually that terrible. To be they're fair, not they're not terrible. They they're do it. Really people complain there. every year. So, yeah. and not just that, the, the shops are like four hundred meters away. Just walk into town. If you're worried, pop into town, grab something else, and come back. Have a nice tablet of peace for a minute. Yep. Uh, I've, I've got one. I've got one. I've got okay. one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have actually, because we forgot one that we always do, <laughs> which is um, 
da, da, da. we always say this and this isn't this isn't I, i'm not so stupid and think i'm uh, uh, or egotistical or whatever to believe it's this is not about us but if you'd like to come up to us and say hi just do it um we are all exactly as we are right now on the show and it, and if you want to come over and have a chat just come over and say hi and if you're a, if you're a little bit worried i i know they don't be but i do mean that um because it i'm sure a lot of people will attest to the fact that the first time they came up was expo this year or or jam or expo last year or jam last year and uh and now they, they come up and realize that, that there's no big thing to it um and that that's and i push that out to everybody <laughs> yeah. if you see if you see mark and you want to say hi to mark say hi uh, if you want to say i really like todd's reviews then that's fine um, he, he'd appreciate that I mean, don't touch him. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> he has like hand sanitizing wipes if you touch him. Like, yeah. Fucks. <laughs> so, Rick. Yeah, I've got one little one. It's sort of, it's sort of related. But if you think, if you think you're going to go, if you're not staying on site and you're staying a distance away, don't think you're going to be able to ring up and get a taxi off of the site. There's no taxis in Shrewsbury. It would take last when we rang up for one. It would be it was about two hours to, for one to come. There's there's no there's no there's not a, there's not loads of taxi companies in in Shrewsbury. You won't get one. So I have a, I have a trick. I use Marcus Marcus Pew who gets my cab for me. <laughs> he's a he's he's a Shrewsbury. Right. Me. Okay. I might need that because my house the house we're renting is gonna is about three miles away. For, yeah, I'll introduce you. <laughs> yeah, cool. Right, but that's Mike, about it for me. I don't think can't think of anything else. Uh, Enjoy yourself. I've got, I've got, I've got a couple more. I have got a couple more. Go on. I've, I've okay. covered. Uh, the first one is um, right. If if you see anybody sitting on a mobile sofa, don't hit the reverse button on it. What? You know, don't when they're sitting there, just looking at a juice stand oh. or something. Don't don't be tempted to hit the reverse button on it and suddenly find the person shooting off backwards. Um, Dan, Dan, that's the Dan Muddit as well. Dan, um, that's it. Yeah. Um, next one is uh, hotel fire alarms. Use a sock. Get a or, sock in there. Go outside because it's the middle of summer. It'll be warm. Just go outside. It's just it, it's not. Just do that. You can't lay in bed outside though, can you? And have a vape. No, that's true. Yeah. Depends where you're staying. You could take the yeah, bed true. outside, maybe. Yeah, you look like a tramp a bit. You're right. if, you, if you do want to lay in bed and vape and set the alarms off, just get a sock. I put it over. Like Craig and I haven't shared a hotel room in 2017, which just seems criminal. I tell you what, we'll arrange. We'll arrange a private. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the seaside trip, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, Christmas Day coming up. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, because we're going up north, aren't we? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll try and work it out. Bonnie um, Scott anyway, I think we're going to have to cut this and yeah. just say we're really sorry. We're not going to be live next Thursday, but we will be live the Thursday well, afterwards. We, we possibly might be slightly. We're what we've had. A, we've had a. Oh, we haven't told you and Richard about this, but me and Craig chatted earlier. We think we're just <laughs> going to put a hangout on the group, free for all. And if we've got time to pop in for a bit, we'll pop in and and we probably have got time to pop in and say hello and and chat for a bit but okay. we're not going to do a show yeah because okay. all of, well, all, all well, of the time doing the facebook group what is it www.facebook.com yeah. Com. Yeah. Com. Com. Yeah, yeah. it's not like blue you'll see it. it's got white writing if you, you can join to google.com as well it comes up. Yeah. oh okay that's good yeah. Yeah. Like, and come up in yahoo.com that's a different story yeah bing <laughs> might not bing <laughs> might end up anywhere if you, <laughs> bing, so. you get to myspace if you go through bing <laughs> Is, there, is Ask Jeeves still about? You can ask Jeeves, but he won't answer. <laughs> Have we got a MySpace page? Because I think we need a MySpace page. <laughs> anyway, join the group and then the link will be posted next week for a hangout and you can hang out with Craig and Rick. Well, I'm not <laughs> hanging out with Craig and Rick. <laughs>
<laughs> well, way. we'll try and do some live things over that over the weekend, and and I think. Yeah, I'll try and do some. Live I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw this out there. If anybody's at Vape Fest, yeah, uh, or or there, there, there's one exception, which is Gustav, um, which is feel free to put up your little live videos on the weekend of Vape Fest. We'll we'll work out the trash when we get back, but. If, you've, if you're at Vape Fest and you want to just say, hi, I'm at Vape Fest and do it through iOS, then feel free to do it just on that weekend while we're all away because we it's just going to be madness anyway. So, yeah, just do something. Yeah. So feel free. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Well, right. this has been the Idea Lamb Show. We won't see you next week, but we'll see you the weekend see after. Week Thursday, we might see you oh. at the weekend of Vape Fest, hopefully. See you see. at the weekend. Oh, that doesn't spell the right thing, now, does it? See you week on no no <laughs> see you week on thursday see Could you never twat <laughs> what <laughs> what anyway, anyway let's say that. goodbye show us those hands fellas we'll catch you soon and hit like and subscribe to our channel <laughs> Push that like button press that yeah and subscribe because we bye, need bye, bye, bye. bye look yeah. at that Craig. he's doing a goodbye there look i did a dinosaur Richard's going. Oh, that's a good one. Fire from Richard. <laughs> Fucking it, stop. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do the Chinese one. Oh. No.